Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA at 12.48 p.m. Central Standard Time, 70 degrees outside, 70 top-down degrees. Beautiful day, springtime, and uh, it's uh, March the 22nd, maybe? Close, it's 2017, I know that. Anyway, uh, I just happened to be at the grocery store today, and I was talking to a young lady. And she had a interesting looking smartphone. And I said, what kind of smartphone is that? And she said, that is an iPhone 7. And she said it cost, I don't know, around $700 or so in that range. And I thought, wow, that's pretty expensive, isn't it? Because I got my LG Escape 3 about a week ago from Cricut. I went back to Cricut Wireless for 20 bucks, And I thought... How much difference can there be between a $20 phone and a $700 phone? And there are, there's a lot, there's differences, but then the next question was, which phone do people that are retired need? In other words, if you're not in business or you're not texting or doing exotic photos and all that stuff and you just want a phone, there's really no advantage to one over the other other than the price difference of $680. So anyway, just to verify that, I got on here and I looked at the iPhone specs. Uh, and, uh, you know, the camera, it's got a good camera. It's, you know, 750 by 1334 pixels, multi-touch, da-da-da-da-da. And uh, it's got a, a metal uh it's made out of, it's got a metal cover around it mine's I guess plastic and uh, but anyway it's got an 8 megapixel camera uh, it's got one gigabyte of RAM that's the internal stuff and it's got an 1810 milliamp battery 4.7 inch screen that's this is the iPhone I'm talking about and uh, anyway it's got a one it's got a dual core 1.4 gigahertz processor that kind of makes stuff go quicker the faster the the the, uh, the CPU processor is then uh, the faster you can do things if you're doing games and stuff <clears throat> you can get now with the the iPhone it does not have a removable battery so if you keep the phone the battery goes bad you just got to get another phone or something I guess now the internal card slot for the memory on the iPhone is 16, 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes, so you just buy the phone with the internal storage that you think you're going to use, and you live with it. With the uh, LG Escape 3, you can add, you know, like a 32 gigabyte SD card for storage, and I'll get to that. I'll expand on that in a minute. The, uh, but anyway, I'm still, we're still with the, uh, Apple, and it's you know it's a good phone. It's it's really neat, 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 neat. But again, it's seven hundred dollars. It's got a four point seven inch screen, you know, la da 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 da. So then I go to this cheap old twenty dollar phone that I got at uh, Cricket. It's got a larger screen, five inch. It's seven twenty by twelve eighty pixels. Let's see what the uh, the the uh, uh, iPhone is seven twenty by thirteen thirty four. That's not a significant difference. Uh, the processor in the cheapo phone is 1.3 gigahertz. And in the super expensive iPhone, it is 1.4 gigahertz. So that's not a, a, a material difference there. The differences come in, uh, you know, of course, the battery is a little bigger with the Escape 3. Uh, it's got, it comes with one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, flat, what they call flash memory. And, you know, it's lightweight. There's a lot of things it doesn't do. You know, like you can't, you can't do wireless charging. Uh, you know, you know, talk time is 768 minutes, you know, or to a thousand, depending on whether you got LTE or 2G. And then standby time is about 16 days. You know, you can just leave it, leave your phone on, let it sit there for 16 days without having to charge it. Uh, of course, you know, there's a lot of features on the Apple iPhone 6. 
Now the question is, are you ever going to use those? If you Here's my point in this whole video. For most people that are re retired, they just want a phone. Now they may text. You can do that on this $20 phone. Uh, you can actually make phone calls. Amazing. And you can surf the internet. You can check your email. I mean, I, I'm doing this. This video is being done with the front-facing camera on the uh, LG Escape 3. It's got a 5 megapixel front-facing camera and an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera. When, you, you know, when I'm driving down the highway and I've got my phone in the holder, all my driving videos are done using that rear camera, which is 8 mega, megapixels, and they're fine. And now, for as far as, you know, taking pictures and sending them and stuff, you can do that on either any phones, okay? And as far as, uh, you know, checking emails and checking weather and getting driving directions like using Google Maps and stuff, you can do that on virtually any phone, all right? So my recommendation for you people that are over age 60 or in that range, you're retired and you're not working anymore and you're not doing a lot of things with your phone, you know, for you to have... When you go into the store to get a phone, of course, the salesman just goes, hello, because all they see is a cash register walking through the door. And they know that you don't know much about the technical aspects of the phone, so they're going to say, oh, yeah, this iPhone 7 or this Samsung S892 is just the one you need. It's on sale today for $1,000, you lucky dog. You know, or you can go to Cricket Wireless, and they got, you know, if you port your number in there, you can get the same phone I got for 20 bucks. does everything you need to do. Now, there's a lot of features it doesn't have. You know, it doesn't have uh, a digital compass. It doesn't have, uh, what else? It doesn't have wireless charging or super fast charging. Uh, what else doesn't it have? It, uh, I don't know about the IP rating. Uh, you can't do 3D on it. Uh, you know, uh, what else? Uh you know, you can't, you can't add a physical keyboard, you know, plug in something external to it. doesn't have a fingerprint sensor. So, you know, a lot of that stuff, you know, it, it, the, you, know you don't need anyway, all right? So, I get, the, the thrust of this whole video is just to let you people that are elderly like me, I'm 71 and I'm certainly no techie, I'm learning the hard way because I've bought and got moved around on phones for a long time. And what I'm saying is when you go to get a phone, you know, you just need the basic phone. You don't, and and, the, and the, the higher up the berry tree you go, uh, the more bloatware they put on there. And what those are are little apps that are going to drive applications. Apps is short for applications. And those little boogers can drive you to drinking. Of course, for me, that's a pretty short drive about that far. But uh, guys, I'm talking to you retired folks now. Get you the basic unit, man. Just get you a basic phone. You know, just explain to the salesperson, say, look, all I want to do is talk on the phone. I rarely text. I uh, may check the email. I may do this or I may do that. What? Know what you want to use the phone for, all right? If you take a lot of pictures, I, I can tell you this. I've got a 32 gigabyte SD card, a storage card in my phone. Now, you can actually add storage on this phone. And, you, and that card cost you about 20 bucks, maybe. I can do 40 10-minute HD videos and store them on that SD card. Now, how many thousands of single pictures could you take and store on that SD card? I, I have no idea. You could do a Google search, but it'll be several thousand. I guarantee you. So, and, and you just... So what, what you end up doing, and, and I, could, I got caught in, I bought an expensive phone years ago, I won't do it again, but you go in there and you don't know what you want because you're new to this stuff and you get sold a dump truck, okay? And, and all you're going to put in it is a spoonful of dirt. You got me? So be careful with that. But anyway, what I'm saying, the whole point of the video is just give you a heads up for you old guys like me that are not techies and all that stuff, uh, don't let these millennials uh, load your boat with something you don't need. Uh, first of all, talk to your children or whoever, neighbors, friends, somebody that has cell phones, and get an idea or picture in your mind of what you're going to use your phone for. 
If you're just going to use it to make and receive calls, and you can get the cheapest phone they've got, they'll all do that. And if you're going to use it to make calls and text, they'll all do that too. But if, you know, if you're going to use it, I can't imagine what far. You know, there are features available, and you pay for those additional features. But anyway, having said that, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So, but again, my name is Rusty. My channel is Rusty78609. And basically, I do a lot of stuff on RVing and going camping in a car. And if you do either of those, check out my playlists on my channel homepage. Uh, just click on playlists and watch whatever you want to watch for RVing or car camping. And also, if you want to contact me, Google got rid of fan funding at the end of February for us small guys. So what you can do is you can contact me or support this channel through by sending me uh, uh, correspondence to my, I got a P.O. box, and just send it to Rusty at P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, one word, Kingsland, it's right here, Rusty, P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639, and uh, that way you cut out the middleman, and I, you, can say, you can say a lot of things in a note that you may not want to post on a comment. Okay, so having said that, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy USA made when you can. Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Stretch, walk, uh, keep your health. You know, uh, drink plenty of water. Three quarts a day is good, and I promise you, you'll feel better doing it. You may pee a little bit, but like a three peckered possum or two peckered possum. Sorry. Anyway, thumbs up, guys. Adios. But when you go to get you a smartphone, know what you want. And don't let them nail you with a lot of crap you're never going to use. Anyway, adios, guys. Bye-bye.